Jessica. I'm a librarian here at WMPL. Today I'm going to talk about Before We Were Yours by Lisa Wingate. This book is so beloved. Um, it's a story of a young girl named Rill Foss. And she was living on a houseboat with her parents down in the deep south. And she has a lot of little siblings. And they live this like idyllic childhood where they are on the run. They get to explore and fish and make their own clothes. You know, she, she really... Um, loves her life, loves her family, loves her parents. Although we see as readers that her parents are really struggling to provide for her and her siblings. One day her parents um, have to go to the hospital because her mother's giving birth and they leave and they, and they give real very specific instructions. They say, stay here, don't open the door, don't talk to strangers, you know, take care of your siblings, we will be back as soon as we can. So Rill does the best she can, avoiding strangers and trying to pretend like they're not home alone. But it's been a few days, maybe even weeks, and it's becoming apparent that her parents are not coming back, and she's starting to panic. One day, a police officer comes to the door of their houseboat, and she, you know, basically lets him in. Well, he says, you all need to come with me. Your parents have contacted me, and they want me to bring you to them. So she and her siblings willingly get in the police officer's car, although very soon on we realize that he is not a police officer. What he is, is he's a thief. He steals children, and then he brings them to foster homes where they're then resold into uh, adoption into families of, of wealth. And this is, get this, based on a true story. There was a woman in the 30s named Georgia Tan who was running this exact scam. She would steal children off of porch porches um, off the side of the road. She would tell parents, um, she was a nurse, she would tell parents, your children are ill and you need to take them to the doctor. And then she would tell them that their children died, but in reality she was taking them and reselling them into wealthier homes. She ran this scam for years. Um, it is believed that over 500 children died in her care because she didn't take good care of them in the meantime before they were adopted. Um, this is a historical fiction look at a fictional story, and we uh, really are invested in these characters and in this family. And if you love this book, like I know you will, there is a follow-up to it called Before and After, which is the true stories of the people mentioned in the book and how um, you know they sort of ended up finding out the truth truth about their origins. I hope you will read this book. I've never met anyone who didn't love it. Before We Were Yours by Lisa Wingate. <music>